my outfits of the week that's coming up. Hello fashion servers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Hello. If you enjoy my outfits of the week, consider subscribing and let's get started. I decided to go for a floral look to my outfit for today. This is a blouse I've made. A design pattern I made about 18 months ago. I do have a video tutorial on this blouse and I'll link that in the description. So if you want to take a look to see how I did these gorgeous statement sleeves, then it's in that video. And the weather today, it's actually quite warm, hence we've gone for this blouse. And you know, when the weather is warm in the UK, you kind of like still want to hang on to that spring summer feel. And <laughs> that's what I'm, I suppose I'm doing with this blouse. So, um, like I said, I have done a video tutorial on this blouse, so please do check that out if you wish. This is the back and I'm wearing it with straight leg pants and you've seen these pants before and yes I have designed these pants as well. Um, the look that I'm going for today is, is to stay a bit more spring-like while the weather is warm. Um, it may rain a little bit later on but you know at the moment it's not, it's nice and warm so um, yeah I will be making the most of it by wearing this. So I've got a choker on, my asymmetrical earrings, I'm wearing a ring, and the bag I'm going for is this kind of structured, small black bag, and it only has a handle, a short handle to it. So yeah, that is the bag I'm wearing, and the shoes you've seen before as well, it's a shoe you've got the tassels on, and I bring the camera in down in a moment so that you can have a look. Now if it does get a little bit chilly, I will be wearing this cardigan, this long cardigan, and I've had this for many years, many, many years. Um, yeah, I probably need to buy, invest in another one, I think. No, I think it's still got a good few years left in it still. So um, I won't be putting it on because I wanna show, I wanna show my sleeves. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show off my sleeves so it will just go over my shoulders and I don't think it's going to get that cold that I actually have to, you know, put it on or push it up and, you know, possibly have my scarf which I have got right now. <laughs> no, it's not a scarf weather today. So I'll just be putting it over my shoulders like, wear it like a cape. So if it does get a bit chilly, then this is the look that I'll have if it does get a little bit colder. Just like that. So to give you a, a closer look at the blouse. In the back view. And the sleeves. It's got this asymmetrical draping going on with the little kind of detail and as you may know I love my asymmetrical looks <laughs> so yeah that's my outfit for today jumpsuit and I 
did it quite recently, it's a recent one. So what I'll do, I'll link that video tutorials, this three this series, it's uh, three episodes, and I go through in depth about how I constructed this two piece into a one piece, a jumpsuit. But for the longest while, I, I've i also got a tutorial on the pants as well because the pants were really ill-fitting on my body. So I took the pants leg in, so I've got a video tutorial on how to do that too. So um, I'll put that in the description as well below. And um, what I had this issue with is like, I like the jacket, but I never wore the jacket on its own. You know, it's always the pants, you know, I was really happy with the pants and the fact that I could get, you know, the pants to look the way I wanted it to look. But, you know, I wanted to make sure that I could also wear the jacket and wearing the jacket with this pants just, just wasn't a look that I was going for. So I decided to make it into a jumpsuit and I love it. So I think it really goes well into two the tutorials were also went well so you probably see something a bit different in my tutorials um, when I'm doing my refashion projects because I used to before only give you snippets of the more difficult part of construction to the tutorials but now I'm going through in depth so if I do any mistakes or anything like that you will be the first to know and yeah and any difficulties or problems would fit I will go through that in all of my future refashioning videos. So this, I'm wearing it with my ankle boots and the weather today, it's raining, um, feels damp. So yeah, I will be wearing one of my other leather jackets, which is here. If you haven't seen this one before. And if it gets a bit, or it still rains all day then I will it's not it's not cold enough yet to wear any heavier jackets as such so this is how I would wear this look with this jacket make sure my sleeves are coming through at the bottom because my the sleeves to a jumpsuit is longer than the jacket and I'll come a bit closer and it's got a similar collar, so I've got a double collar thing going on here. So I'm going to make sure the my leather jacket collar is standing up, and also this is standing as well. Yeah, that's all sort of good. Sure, yeah, I'm liking that. And the bag I'm going for is this one. It's quite an old bag as well. Um, but I like the shape of it and I'm going to put it cross body mind the hair and also I've got my sunglasses on and I'm just using it as a hair accessory so I highly not like put them on but just as an hair accessory so I've got my bag cross body and I'll bring the camera down in a moment and there's really three ways you can wear your bag well I wear my bag so let me just bring this down. So you can have it like so, or you can wear it to the front or to the back. And that's how I'm going to be, yeah. I think it suits this look.
Yes, it's official, autumn's here. It's getting colder. It's warm today though, it's not too bad, but it's cold at the same time. And the sun has made an appearance a couple of times. Um, but this is what I'm wearing. This top I have, I have video, done a video of this top and it's about over a year ago and if you want to watch that video I'll put a link in the description and it's just describing you know this sewing project that I did. So this top just reminds me of just autumn. I just love the colours that are in it. It's quite an experimental top as well. Um, it's a pattern that came around with more than anything else. You know, just to get a swoosh. I'll bring the camera down shortly and extra long sleeves and just slightly come a little bit closer. Get a bit towards the wrist and I'm wearing a selection of bangles and one just on that arm. So yeah, I'm just give you a quick twirl around so you can see the back. Back is more the same as the front and it has a scarf so I made sure that I used all of my fabric I do believe in this project. I'm trying to do that with most of my projects when I am sewing. It is, you know, a significant amount of left over I will try and make something out of it. So um, so the result was this scarf. It's a infinity scarf and I kind of restyled it a little bit so you you would have seen this necklace before this chocolate look heart so I just twisted the scarf into the necklace and it will stay there so that's um, a quick tip if you want to change up the look of your scarves when you are styling your outfits and um, just entwine them into a piece of your jewellery and it just gives that added extra to an outfit the pants that I'm wearing are corduroy yeah, corduroy, it's such a hard to pronounce, corduroy. Anyway, it's needle cord, so it's very fine. And I didn't make these, and it's a, like a burnt orange. It just really goes well with this top. So, and I've just got some heels on. The bag I'm going for is this crocheted bag. Um, I don't think I've really seen this one. I've seen all my crochet tops. So yeah, I do have cooked up crochet bags and this is the bag that I've got for with this look. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy now. <laughs> Just give you a bit of a close up of the scarf and how I've entwined it into my necklace. on and I've got the button showing there it's all about the minute details and I've also got the little button showing there as well 
So I've just buttoned one button on the jacket so that you can see this button here and the top button on my neck area. And it is a scarf that I've just tied around my neck and let me just show you, might as well, might and I. It's kind of like a, a cowboy kind of tie, if you like. I haven't knotted it, it just comes around like so, and then I just hide it in my jacket. Just adds another dimension to an outfit, just giving them the, the look, a bit of a pattern. And I'm going for the same bag that I had yesterday, the crochet one. So I'm going to wear that crossbody. It looks good that way. I'm trying to twist my hair in the process. Like so. Yeah, I'm going to have it kind of front rather than to the back of my body. It just it fits better there, it lies better there. It's the right shape. It doesn't feel awkward or in a way, it doesn't listen, it doesn't it when you put bigger bags cross body for them. Um, it's fashion. So just give you a closer look. So there's the top button on view. And I've got my bag cross body and you can see the other button just there as well. It's just about minor details. <laughs> and yeah. And the pants I mentioned, yeah, bootleg pants. Oh, let me show you my boots. Now that's our these are the first boots I'm wearing, so this this awesome this, this year. I've just got these boots on. So yes, winter boot time of year. to what the weather is like today. It's not as cold as it today, but it's cold and it's raining. So I decided to put on a nice cuddly jumper. And this is what I've chosen. I just love the colour. So I'm wearing a polo neck, a black polo neck, and a oversized long sleeve, yay, jumper. And with the half tuck, I think when the half tuck is no longer in fashion, I'll always be wearing the half tuck. I just love the half tucks because it's got something to do with the fact that I like a lot of asymmetrical kind of garments. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice statement, <laughs> I've decided. So, yeah, and I'm wearing my straight leg cropped pants. And yes, I did design pattern and so these pants. You've seen them um, a good few times now and uh, I'll keep on wearing all of my clothing that I've designed and made and also one or two items that I've also bought because I believe that you're not supposed to. I mean, really? Do you just wear your clothes just once and then throw it away? No, no. Especially if you design and pattern draft and sew your own garments. I mean, that is amazing that you're doing that and then you want to kind of get rid. No, keep your clothes for as long as possible. I'm not going to go on too much about it, but I'm all about sustainability. And since I've been doing my weekly outfits, I really don't realise how much clothing I do have, but you've got to remember that I've been sewing for a very, very long time. So, um, so it's nice that I'm actually revisiting some of the clothing that I probably wouldn't have worn. But since I'm doing the wheelie outfits, these garments have been worn a little bit more often, put it that way. Um, I, th I think it's all to do with the fact that I want to share with you how I dress, 
but also to inspire you. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I want to inspire you to to, to revisit clothing that you haven't worn for a long time or you may be thinking of giving it to a charity shop or you know friends or family whatever the case may be and I'm not a great believer if you haven't worn something in six months or 12 months or 18 months then it's ready to be you know be removed from your wardrobe I don't believe in that I definitely believe that you can have garments for four or five years which is my case and you know when you feel as though you want something new and you've got that eagerness to go out and shop for something new for an event or whatever the case may be then you can always think that I remember making this years ago and maybe I should go and revisit that item and it feels new and I've discovered that while I've been doing these outfits of the week so yeah I have a lot of clothing but they are worn and I know I'm going to have a lot more I'm not going to have a lot more I'm not going to have as much clothing when I come to designing and patterning and also sewing sewing it I won't have as much I won't do as much I'm cutting back on that um, I don't know how many pieces I'll do in a year but it's going to be greatly reduced and um, but I know I will be doing a lot of refashioning and yeah and I'm enjoying that process of showing you what you can do from old clothing into new and I don't want to feel as though I'm one of those people who's just jumping on the bandwagon for refashioning clothes because I've always done it but I haven't done it to the extent of what I am doing now for my channel so but I'm totally finding it an inspiring way to design clothing from pieces of fabric because once you take it all apart if you do if, if that's part of the process or the, bro um, the project that you're doing they just become fabric pieces and I think that's what you need to think about when you are refashioning to that extent but obviously you can also refashion to the point of just ch changing buttons it can be a refashioning removing pockets can be refashioning of a garment so it can be from a very simple process to the extreme where you can take a garment totally apart I'm sure I will be doing that at some point in my channel and if you are into refashioning of your old sewing projects or garments that you have bought please put that information in the comments because I love to know what you have to say and going back to what I am wearing I think I said enough now <laughs> like I said it's this lime green oversized jumper and I'm going to break this up a little bit because it's there's a little bit of black here and a block of lime green and then a block of black so I just want to bring in a little bit of black into my jumper this color part here but it will, it will predominantly you know shout out and lime green but it just needs to add, I just need to add something so I've gone for this long black necklace and I'm going to put it just like that it just brings it just brings it together doesn't it the block of black here black running through and carrying through to the pants and the back i'm going for is going to be this one with the small handle and that's it So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please do share. I know I went on just a little bit <laughs> on, my, on my Fridays um, segment. Um, I just had to put that out there. So I haven't got a tip this week, otherwise this video is going to be too long. So yeah, um, so if you have enjoyed it, please do give a thumbs up, please do share. And I will see you next time.